it's time for a new episode of my Linux driver tutorials. In my last video I have introduced you to device files, device numbers, character and block devices and I have shown you how they can be used as an interface from user space to a Linux driver or Linux kernel module. And in today's video we will actually create a character device in a Linux driver. So let's go. As you can see here I am connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH. And the first thing I will do is I will navigate into the folder of my repository for my Linux driver tutorials. And here you can see the various lessons I have already done. And the first thing I will do is I will copy this better hello kernel module as I will use it as a template for today's video. And I will create a new folder I will call hello cdef. And cdef here stands for character device. Okay, so now let me navigate into this folder and let's see what's in here. So this hello.c is the C source file of our kernel module. We have a make file to build it and we have a readme with some additional information. So the first thing I will do is I will rename hello.c to hello.cdev.c. And of course I have to change then the name of the object file in the device uh, in the make file as well. Okay, cool. And now we can start implementing our first character device file. So let's open up hello cdev.c. So here is the source for our simple hello world Linux kernel module. The first thing I will do is I will change the description. A sample driver for registering a character device. Okay, and then the next thing I will do is I will I have to include one more include here. So I will include Linux slash file system or fs.h. Okay, and last time we've already talked a little bit about so what are the steps we have to do here? Basically what we have to do is first we have to allocate a device number. A device number consists of two parts, a major device number and a minor device number. So every major device number can have 256 minor device numbers. After we have, we have registered the device numbers, we have to create a character device and bind this character device to the device number. And then we are basically done. The cool thing is, the Linux kernel um, gives us one function which does both steps for us. So let's use this. But first I need a global variable. I will call major. And in this variable I want to store the major device number which will be allocated by our kernel module. Okay, so what I will do here is I will call the function register character device. And this function does the allocation of device numbers for us. It creates a character device for us and it links the device numbers to the character device. And this register character device has, has the following arguments. The first argument is the major device number for which it should register um, yeah, reg or allocate the device numbers. But if we are typing a zero in here, it will search for a free device number and use this free device number and yeah, and that's fine for me. But for example, if I could pass in a major device number as well, then it will allocate all device numbers from major device number 64 minor 0 to major device number 64 minor 255. So this will actually allocate um, 256 device numbers for us. Okay, but I want to have a dynamical allocation, so I will pass in a zero here. The next argument is um, a label which will appear in proc devices, and I will use hello cdef as this label here. And the last argument is a pointer to the file operations which should be supported by our character device. And for this I will pass in a pointer to an f obstruct I haven't defined yet. So let's define this f obstruct. So um, the type here is struct file operations 
fops and for now I will leave this struct empty, which is okay. But the downside is if we leave this empty, of course our character device doesn't support any file operations, but we will see this in a minute. Now we have to check if result character device um, returned a value which was smaller than zero, because if so an error occurred while registering the character device. Registering character device and I will return with this error code from my init function. But in case this returns something equal to zero or bigger than zero, then the registration worked. So um, we have or registering or let's print out the major device number here. Okay, so this is our major device number now. Cool. And here in the exit function, all I will do is I will call the um, function unregister character device and we need to pass in our major device number here and also the label which appears in proc devices and this will um, delete the character device and free the device numbers. And that should be basically it. So let me try to compile this kernel module. Good, the compilation worked. So now I will fire up tmux to create a second window here. And in here I will follow the kernel's log so we can see what is printed out. And now if I load um, the hello cdef kernel module, we can see, okay, we have successfully registered a character device with major device number 236. Cool. Now the next step we have to do is we have to create a device file and link it with this device number. So I will run the make note command. I will create def hello zero. It's, it's a character device with major number 236 minor zero. So this worked. And now let's access this file. For example, with cat we will read from the file. But if we are doing so, we are getting this message here, invalid argument. The reason for this is we don't support the read file operation, which is necessary for reading from the file. So the next step is to implement this read function. Therefore, we have to fill our file operation struct. But it would be interesting to see how these file operations are or how the struct looks like. Therefore, I can recommend you this um, website. So this Bootlin website is an excellent way to browse the sources of, your, of the Linux kernel. You can search for identifiers, which is really helpful. And you can also see how um, the API is built in different kernel versions. So I will search now for file operations. And you can see it's also defined in linuxfs.h. And here we can see the struct. So file operations is a various big struct which um, consists of multiple function pointers. So here we have a function pointer for a read function, for a write function. Here we have open, release is similar to close. So we have various file operations we can overload here. The good message is we don't have to overload all of them. We only have to overload the ones which we want to use. And that's good because, for example, I really don't know what splice read is, for example. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we have to overload this read function here. And the cool thing about viewing this um, struct here is we can see the return value and the needed arguments for our function. So let me copy this and let's jump back here to our module and let's create a new function which I will call my read. Over the return values and the arguments I will tell you more in future videos. For now just let's set some yeah, variable names here so we are able to compile it.
And what we are going to do here is very simple. We are just will print out read is called and then we will return with zero here. Okay, and what we have to do here now is here in this file operation struct, we have to set the pointer to the read function pointer to my read. And that should be basically it. The rest can stay the same. Okay, I forgot to mention one important thing. In case you are passing directly a, um, a major device number in here, the return value of register character device will be zero if you could successfully um, create a character device and allocate the major device number 64 and an error co code else. So you only get back the device number if you are dynamically allocating or if you let the system pick the device number by passing a zero here, then the return value will be the device number. Okay, good. So now let me try to compile this kernel module one more time and I think in the meantime I can open up a second tmux window again and follow the kernel slog. Did I remove the hello? No I haven't so let's remove the module and in let's insert the module one more time. Okay so we get got the same device number which is cool so we don't have to um, cre delete and create our device file one more time. And now if I'm doing, or if I'm reading from def hello zero, we're getting the print read is called in the kernel's log. Of course we haven't read something or we didn't, or the read didn't print something or the cat didn't print something out because we, have, we haven't implemented any logic for the read command, but this is fine for now. And I also want to show you one more thing. I already told you that um, with the register character device a method, we're allocating a device number range with a major device number and 256 minor device numbers. So let's create a new um, device file. I will call it hello128. This is a character device with major device number 236, minor device number 128. So this worked. So maybe let's even take a look at the def hello files. Okay, so we can see the major device numbers here are different. And now if we're doing a cat to def hello 128, also our um, read function is called. So what we also need when using um, a character device is a way to determine which device file actually was opened. But we will talk about this in later videos in more details. Okay, but for now I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.